This is how to use the Wilcom Visual Fault Locator, the VFL, and it's a model F6230A. The specifics of this are here. The big thing with this is if you've got a straight uh, chunk of fiber, it's supposed to go up to potentially 8 kilometers. So you could be in a, a one room and if you've got a school, as an example, across town, you should be able to make that. So basically if you're within a community, you should be able to make the distance with this uh, and see what you've got. So the purpose of a VFL is to be able to just identify that you've got light continuity, that you've got light that will travel down a path to another spot. So and what this can do, and again, this is what the device looks like. The big thing with this is that it's got a laser in it. Do not look at the laser. So it actually can blind your eye and burn your, burn your retinas and stuff. So do not look into the laser directly ever. Don't look at the end of the fiber cable as well. So now I'm going to just show you how to use it real quick. So um, I've got a uh, simple patch cable here. This has got a, just again, so we go through some of them. This has got a blue end on it, which is typical. And this is an SC connector. And the blue typically identifies that it is a, uh, a UPC. So this is an SC UPC, uh, which means it is not, uh, it does not have an angle on it. And it's probably hard to see it. So if you were to look at the very end of this here, uh, it does not have an angle on it. And then this is the, uh, an SC APC, which means it's angle polished. And you probably cannot see it in the video, but it uh, has just a very small, I think it's either a 7 or a 9, I forget what the standard is, but it's, it's got a very small angle on it that gives it less reflection. So but we're going to use this uh, visual fault locator. And all we do is uh, you'd want to make sure you clean your stuff, so clean your devices. So we've got different uh, devices here, different items that can clean them. But make sure you've got clean cables when you're putting it into this here so they don't dirty up the test equipment that we've got. And then just push it in, make it down that it's tight. And then this particular one, you just turn it on, and now it's going to send light down there. So now you can see the light coming out of the end. So if you're in one location, you can go to another area. If you've got a turn panel, it'll actually send out light from the turn panel. If you've got other cables plugged into that turn panel, it'll do that. One thing you can also do is if you're in, in a data room or an IDF and you're trying to track down a specific cable that goes from one side of the room to the other and you can't seem to track it, you can actually bend this and it might be hard to see, but you can actually bend it and you can see that it lights up. So this has got enough power to be able to light that cable. Now, if you've got a blue cable or something like that, it's tougher to see. But if you've got some of these types of cables, you can see them. And again, you can obviously see the end of this. And again, don't look at the end. And then this particular device, it's got a, uh, a setting inside of it that lets it uh, modulate. So the first one is what they call continuous wave, which just means it's on all the time. And then you got a modulating, which just all that does is it just helps you see it a little better. So if you got something and you want to go and you got a bunch of things, this will give you a blinking to look at instead of just a straight solid light. So this will let you blink. That's that.